If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video in the future. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Friday the 13th the game video. With the engine upgrade out and a lot of bugs coming with it, Gun Media and Hilphonic have been hard at work trying to get a patch ready as fast as possible. Early this week, we got a forum post from Wes Keltner, basically saying that all the bug reports are being collected from the latest patch, and they are working to prioritize issues to push out fixes for the high priority bugs. Today, Daniel Nixon posted patch notes to the next upcoming patch for Friday at 13th the game, which we will be covering only the notes we feel are the most important or influential. That being said, if you're interested in reading all the patch notes, we will leave a link in the description. In the post, Nixon says, Hey everyone, we've been a bit quiet since the last update, as we've been focused on getting fixes completed and wrapped up for patching. We're looking to early to mid next week to push patches out on all three platforms, but they likely will not occur at the same time or even the same day as different platforms are facing some different issues. So, good news is, it looks like we won't have to wait too long to have this patch in our hands. It comes with some very crucial fixes for gameplay, starting with Xbox One Crash at start. This is one of the highest priority issues for us. We fixed two separate issues that could cause Xbox Ones to crash at the press A to start screen. There's nothing worse than simply not being able to play a game at all. Hopefully this fix is effective, and Xbox One players can get back into the game here very shortly. The next bug, one we've all seen before, vehicle rubber banding. This was another high priority issue for us. There are two rubber banding bugs that have been a problem over this past year. The first is the bug that appeared after the December patch and is a different issue than the one that is currently in the live build. While we'd fixed the first rubber banding bug during our work for the May patch, the engine upgrade had also consequently created a new rubber banding issue. Both of these issues are very different, but look nearly identical to players. This has understandably caused a lot of confusion. We have made a fix for this newest rubber banding bug, and we hope that this upcoming patch will resolve the rubber banding issue once and for all. As stated, vehicle rubber banding is a very obnoxious bug that has been prevalent for quite a bit of the game's lifespan. Ideally, this will be the last time we ever have to worry about it. As for single player challenges, we can expect a fix here too, for Speed Demon Objective. This objective should complete correctly for players now. While I never experienced this issue, I know a ton of players did. It would be extremely frustrating to work and complete an objective just to not receive completion points that you deserve. Thankfully, this is being fixed. Now here's just a few more that we found interesting. Key binding, added throwing knife functionality to key bindings. We fixed Roy's orange hands. Emote loop, the new dance emotes loop, have fun dancing. While none of these are truly game breaking, they are pretty annoying so I'm glad to see a fix coming for all of them. Although we have a new patch on the way, there are still a few things that will not be fixed in this update. We are still working on a number of high priority items, including the following. Character randomization. This has caused a number of other issues, including the wrong skin, wrong weapons, wrong Jason and intro slash outro, etc. We are still working on this. Counselors not being able to pick up items. May occur when swapping on equipped item with an item on the floor. Stun slash grab floating. Occurs when Jason is stunned at the same time as a grab lands. Violent shaking during kills. Counselor bodies violently shake back and forth during the kill animation. Grab instant kill. We've only seen this reported two times. If this has happened to you or in a match that you have played, let us know. If you have a video of the match, even better. So they still have some pretty big issues to address, but this is a huge step in the right direction for this new engine. Hopefully they can get the rest of these bugs straightened out quickly, and we can be looking at a smooth running game here soon. But let us know what you guys think. Are there any bugs you want to address in the future? Let us know in the comments below. But that isn't a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. You can bring him back, you know. There's always a way. Bring my baby back. <laughs> you should have been watching him.